Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to put an auger assembly in your refrigerator. A pretty easy job, a few common hand tools all you're going to require. Phillips screwdriver, a couple of flat blade screwdrivers, a pair of channel locks, and a putty knife. Let me show you how it's done. First step in this repair will be to turn the ice maker off. Now on this particular model we need to remove the upper shelf locate the on off switch for the ice maker, switch it to off, then we can remove the auger bin assembly, empty the ice that's in it and set it on a solid workstation so that we can begin our repair. Now that we have the auger bin assembly on a flat surface where we can work at it, we should let it sit for half an hour or so until it comes to room temperature because we're going to be twisting some plastic and if it's frozen we run the chance of breaking it. So let it warm up first. Next step will be to remove the clear shield at the front. Just remove the Phillips screw. This side, remove the shield, just flip the auger bin completely upside down. There's two Phillips screws located on the bottom, we need to remove those. Now we can slide the face the auger bin off. We need to lift up on the top through that tab. Set that aside. we found is it's easier to remove the solenoid actuator lever before we go any further. So there's one screw in the bottom that holds the bracket. Remove that. Take note of how the spring is located on the arm in case it becomes dislodged. So we'll lift the bracket away from the base, slide it forward and disengage it. And we can just let that hang on there, that's fine the way it is. Next we have to depress the tab on each side at the top and lift this whole assembly right up through. It's fairly snug in there so a putty knife or a flat blade screwdriver is going to be required. Press the housing away from Gently lift up on it until the tab clears the catch. Do the same on the reverse side. Probably have to work at this a little bit to get it out of there, but don't force it. It is plastic. You run the risk of breaking the auger bin assembly. Once you've cleared the tabs, we just lift completely up on it until it clears the front of the housing. face shield. Set that aside. And we have our auger, our cutter blades are held in place with an E-ring. A large flat blade screwdriver. Pry the E-ring off of the shaft. Be a thrust washer, a 
underneath that. Discard that. And lift the housing away from the auger. Now we need to remove the blade assembly. There's three fixed blades and two that rotate in the middle. We need to remove this nylon nut on the end of the shaft and it's a left hand thread. Repair channel locks. And grab that nylon nut. Keep in mind the orientation of these individual cutter blades. They are numbered. Once we've unthreaded the nylon nut, set it aside. We'll take the blades out one at a time. Little bushings that go in between. We'll hold the rest of the auger assembly. Two spacer bushings on the very end. Remove those. We're ready to install our new auger. With our new auger in hand, you'll notice there is a flat spot on that shaft that the actual fixed cutter blades will slide onto. We begin with putting our two spacer bushings on first. The last cutter blade that we remove goes on first. Got a bushing that will go on next, the tapered end out. Begin by sliding the fixed assembly on. Get one flat bushing. Our next cutter blade. tapered bushing, slide it forward enough, slide that piece on, another flat bushing, final blade. And we'll reinstall the nylon nut, keeping in mind it's left hand thread. The channel locks. Snug that nylon nut. Not too tight, we don't want to strip it. Now we're ready to reinstall it into the housing. This portion needs to fit directly into here. The shaft will protrude through the back. We're holding that in place. Put our thrust washer on. And then our E-ring. Slide into the slot on that nylon nut pair of channel locks, squeeze it into place, make sure it's fully engaged, it's locked in place, and we can reinstall the face shield on it. When reinstalling the face shield on this, take note that there's a screw hole only protrudes on one side, the other end is blocked off, the side of the hole obviously has to face outward. And there's a little notch in this opening. We're going to line it up with this portion of our auger. And we'll slide on easily. And our assembly is ready to drop back into the ice bin. Locate the rear of the auger into the opening at the back. Slide the housing down into the front. The locator tabs lined up. 
simply press it into place until it snaps and it's locked in place. The two locking tabs are engaged. We're ready to turn it over. Reinstall the actuator arm. Lift out on the pivot. Clamp over the screw hole with our Phillips screwdriver. We'll refasten that. Reinstall the spring if it became dislodged. back to the closed position. Now we're ready to put the face on it. Slide it into the opening. Lift up on the tab in the front. Push it all the way back. Reinstall the two screws on the bottom. These screws are just going into plastic, so don't over tighten them. Just bring them snug. Flip it back over. And install the shield. These two tabs will go in underneath the cover. And reinstall the last Phillips screw. and that portion of our repair is complete. All that remains is to reinstall it in the refrigerator. Now that we have the auger bin assembly completely assembled, we're ready to reinstall it. Disorientate the auger so that it lines up with the yoke on the back. Slide it in on the rails, make sure it engages. Turn the ice maker back on and reinstall the top shelf. And our repair is complete. That's just how easy it was to put an ice maker kit in your refrigerator. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your repair.